recent years, the automotive industry has become a bigger part of CES, and this year was no exception. From concept crab cars to electric diggers, via bikes lifted straight out of Tron, vehicles are now big news in Vegas. But it's not just the cars themselves vying for attention. A major theme coming from many of the companies focused on what the marketing speak labels as the in-car experience. It's essentially using tech to make you, the driver, the star of the show. So naturally, one car company brought in a star of their own to demonstrate their latest big idea. Imagine a car that's creatively bold. Now imagine a song conducted by the road. Mercedes has teamed up with musician and technologist Will I Am to create Sound Drive. And your foot on the pedal means it's time to jam. It takes telemetry and information from a range of sensors, including acceleration, steering, and GPS, to dynamically change specially produced tracks in real time. How do you simulate gravity pushing down on the engine where you have those subtle oscillations? There's like some subtleties that happen when you go, you feel that, you hear that, if you pay attention. And because I'm an audio nerd, I pointed that out. And I, and I told them, hey, I think I could solve that. If you give me sensors, I could point those sensors to an audio generation engine, and I could oscillate gravity pushing down on the engine. I could simulate that. And then I said, hey, but I think the future of electric vehicles is more than vroom vroom. If you, if you, if you let me just like go free fly, I think I could come up with something truly transformational. And so they were like, yeah. Try it out. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> Naturally, I wanted to give it a go to sample that in-car experience for myself. This is wild. It's undoubtedly impressive from a tech and music perspective. Wow. You can really feel that rise up with the acceleration. So what this system is doing is it's collecting information from all of the sensors in the car, so that's accelerating, braking, steering, and it's using that information to dynamically adapt the music that's playing. It's pretty cool. But it will be user and industry take-up that determines whether it goes beyond a very fun gimmick. Elsewhere at the show, autonomous driving and all of the connected industries continue to be a big draw. Luminar create LiDAR products and software for self-driving cars. This year, they were showing off the latest update to their hazard detection capabilities. The system is designed to react faster than a human can, in this case, swerving to avoid a dummy of a small child at a split second's notice. Let's buckle up again then. Can you spell it up on me? Yes. It's effective, if not a touch disconcerting. The company says it won't swerve if doing so would take the car into obstacles or other danger. CES shows that the line between the car and technology industries has blurred to a point where one now barely exists. Like much to be seen here though, how much actually makes it out of Las Vegas remains to be seen.